the business online should think about it. And I hope like if they doing it, they're not going to do it only for a two-month period of COVID or a nine-month period of COVID. I don't know how long that takes going to last, but they, keep, they will still, I hope they will be still doing it after. Yeah, for That's sure. Me. And um, where I come in in the thing in these exchange is I try to understand really on the entrepreneur business side what's going on, uh, how are things going on with this, and what are you doing proactively, or what do you plan to do once this is over? And I use a lot of objective point of views or questioning mm -hmm. in order to understand better, and maybe that I find that maybe other people might be uh, wondering what they're doing and also trying to get other people to, to relate to this, maybe if not the same type of business, but, oh, mm -hmm. wow, he, I, I'm living the same situation and these guys are doing this. Maybe I should mm -hmm. be doing that. And I bring in a touch of expertise too in terms of marketing since my personal expertise that I do in marketing is that I touch a variety of uh, businesses, industries, So I'm mm -hmm. able to see, really to understand, really a bunch of stuff of what's going on. And I find that I've acquired this, uh, this talent, this knowledge to be able to share, at least to give out uh, consultation and a recommendation. Maybe you should do this because we're doing this on this client and it worked. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. Uh, I have access to a ton of data. Uh, I okay. see a bunch of data coming in from various uh, businesses, and this allows me even to get like uh, a pulse of the the market and the industry what's going on. Uh, and one of the main thing that I've been telling everyone going on right now is how advertisement costs went down. Uh, and the biggest example. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you see. Uh, yeah, definitely. I didn't even expect it myself, but it was kind of obvious. Yeah. Too, but yeah, um, yeah, the, definitely. Because the, I think the, the reason why is that the people are still a lot of people are still questioning yourself, like should they do ads? And also, and and that's that's the no, that's the second part. The first part is that people don't have a lot of money to spend, right? So basically, they kind of reduce under advertising. Uh, yeah. Budget, and some people like they they go like okay should I do ads I don't know people maybe people are not into it or whatever so they they based on that they kind of reduce uh, the ad like uh, the their advertising budget for the year and and also so with this happening so this kind of created opportunities for anyone that <laughs> that we're not using ad can use ads at the moment to let's say to test their business or whatever and um let's say it's funny we're talking about this now there's like uh, yesterday or yes no not yesterday saturday I, we published a, a a blog post on a, on gcch website that we we're talking about the fact that For this, but for the next three months, it's going to be a good opportunity for whoever has a business idea to test it out there because everything is cheap at the moment. Let's say, uh, exactly. <laughs> let's say you can have access to a shop before a store for 90 days for free. You know, you <laughs> can have you can have access to um, I don't know. Uh, we we have a partnership with Constant Contact. You literally have access to to the platform uh, for free, and there is a video software um, that. I'd give you unlimited video for free, you know, like you can record yourself and publish out there if ever. That's basically, that can be definitely good for someone is, uh, that is thinking, okay, now I cannot reach my customers. So let me try to do a tutorial for them. Like you can be good for anyone that has a salon or a beauty shop or anyone that is, uh, that actually, uh, have an agency. They can definitely build up do video, a uh, virtual video that way. And uh, and we got more customer in in a, in a sense, but I uh, yeah. So basically, uh, at the moment, even if things are down, people are scared. We, we, we're thinking about COVID. Uh, tech companies or startup are giving away access to a platform for free, and uh, and I think we should take advantage of that. And I know people will start using Zoom more and more and more. But there is other platform that can that can benefit entrepreneurs at the moment, and if not for free, it definitely as at the low cost. Yeah, exactly, and uh, I agree with the point that you're saying that uh, this is the moment that people should uh, should be testing things out, ideas uh, or anything, just because the the costs are low. And I didn't, I haven't actually didn't put it in that way. 
So it's really interesting that you bring it to that attention. Uh, the the way that I position myself and that I've been positioning my clients right now, it's exactly the same way you uh, just described it. Are people going to be advertising considering that, you know what, uh, advertisement is at the lowest right now? And like maybe they don't have that many revenue. What I've uh, what I decided to do with my uh, or my client is like to pivot the message and the tone of their ads instead of always trying to like have someone buy buy buy. Well, you get yeah. to more give out value and really more awareness of your business. And uh, the the example that I give is like I take back um, my friend whose uh, restaurant uh, didn't make mm-hmm. the the opening launch. Mm-hmm. I told he's is a taco restaurant, and I told him, you know what? At this time, uh, costs have gone down by ridiculously ninety percent of advertising. Mm-hmm. What you should do during this moment that me people are are very are stuck to their social media. Well, you should try to like get implement, let's say, uh, plant a seed into people's mind in your mm-hmm. if you have a local business to yeah. to to recognize your business with a keyword and he has a taco business so i told him like you know what from now on until whenever this ends everyone should know tnt with taco tnt taco everyone yeah. that thinks about taco in the neighborhood should think about you because they would have seen your ad going around yeah yeah little things yeah, like definitely. that definitely it's good. It, 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 also let's say i was talking about like uh like uh, the tech companies are giving away their platform for free. In a yeah. sense, that is a that is a marketing. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's yes. that's a marketing strategy in a sense because since they start to give it out, let's say for free, let's say I, I, I'm taking an example at Shopify that is giving ninety days uh, free trial. Definitely, they 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 look at, they they expecting to jump uh, to to increase their user the user on the platform. Let's say they were hundred million cost. Uh, uh, customer on the platform probably they intend to go to hundred uh hundred and five million. So because just just by um giving people access to the platform for free and they expecting okay if any for like now ninety percent let's say hundred people join my platform for the three months trial that I, I'm pretty sure probably I'm gonna retain let's say twenty twenty percent of them after the COVID crisis, you know. And um so this this is a tragedy also to acquire a new customer, even if it's, it looks like uh, that they are, uh, they, even if they want to help out, it's at the same time, it's a, it's a marketing strategy also to get customers. That's, that's, that's the thing. That's exactly, I think, uh, to understand. I've seen to a, a local like a, a company from Montreal, uh, they have a chat bot. They were given out three months free. Anyone to sign up? This is like uh, it's it's genius because yeah. you're going to get a bunch yeah. of people to sign up. You're going to collect a bunch of data. That data mm-hmm. you'll be able to really quantify it and make decisions based on. Oh, uh, we managed to get this much interaction. People are using this much. Uh, this let's say this type of conversion happened. Uh, this mm-hmm. time we managed to get this. This is like. Uh, a lot of content just going to emerge from, let's say, giving out these uh, th- these uh, three months free trial, Shopify in ninety days. I mean, you mentioned that to me. I didn't even know myself, and you know, I'm about to open a few. Can do start can start doing stuff shipping at the moment, right? Like, I know it was thirty days free. They they gave it, out. Uh, no, before it was fifteen. It, it was fourteen days. Fourteen days before. And they go from 14 days to 90 days. A bunch of them are doing that. They're going from 14 days to 90 days free trial. And, um, and, and, and as I was saying, it just, it just, it's, it's just a good way for someone to to start. And, and also it's a good marketing play for them. And, uh, and also, if someone wants to know, like, how they can get access to it, I think someone can only, let's say, if you were thinking of buying a pl- uh, buying access to a platform, you can definitely type the name of this platform, followed by COVID-19 in Google. You definitely, yeah, exactly. uh, you definitely find a blog post where they're explaining what they intend to do. Even if they're not doing it for free, you can always type the name of the uh that the name of the platform and followed by uh, this platform alternatives and and do the same thing with the alternatives and the names to see which one are giving out their access to our platform for free and and that way you can definitely um, find a way to get in, uh, 
to get access to something that would be useful for your business at the moment for free and or at the at the lower at the lower at the lower price you know that's uh yeah for sure and uh well and this is what i find really interesting so where i wanted to drive down this conversation because like you just taught me some uh, something and who else could uh, could benefit from this information some people like they want the information to be given to them and like without doing necessarily a strict minimum search so so i find that understanding too let's say this um the context going on and what we should do i keep telling everyone let's be proactive and not reactive because right now mm -hmm. there's an open door let's say to benefit uh to test out to uh promote to get people to know you because not that many people are doing it supply and demand so and right now the the demand for advertisement is is low so this is this is what's making cost uh very low and um yeah. vice versa is like i want to understand really how you guys i'd say in a very particular niche which is uh black owned businesses really how uh the, the black community taking uh using this uh, this moment maybe to make their business uh stand out from any anyone else like basically uh the first thing someone has to do is, is to go online uh the second thing uh, someone has to do is to create content uh basically what we do what we do at the moment uh with our members uh i reach out a lot to them with ideas as they i was saying i was telling you the ideas if someone has some restaurant i uh, i'm giving the opportunity to record videos and start putting tutorial online and if someone uh, didn't have a website before the year we can also uh build a quick website for them for them to be uh, online as quickly as possible and the only thing someone can do let's say on top uh, beside of marketing let's say we have a, we have a community of followers so people already reach out to me and ask okay do do uh, how how they can help and uh, basically when those people reach out to me i just send them the directory and they can definitely see which business they can uh, they, 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 uh, they're willing to support and if someone is going online the next step is Let's say it's trying to find which directory that you can be part in, you can be in for someone to discover you. And that person can definitely send us an email at info at gcch.ca and we definitely put that person in the directory to be discovered that way. Mm -hmm. Because as you were saying, even if everybody is online at the moment, it can still be hard for someone to discover you. And uh, you have, I think someone can increase their chance by, let's say, Google Someone opening a Google My Business is the first start, and also someone can also look for other directory like to be part in. And say you you can see startup opening uh, an account in a different community like uh, Product Art, Angelus, just just to increase their uh, discovery that way. And uh, I think uh, black owned businesses should be taking it uh, should take the same approach. Uh, first, they open a, they open a website online, and we can definitely help them with that. Also, do you add all those stuff? Some kind of different kind of different directory that can be added that are online for people to discover them more. And also, you can create content is the key at the moment. Talk about whatever you want. Talk about whatever you want that is that essential to your business. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about whatever that doesn't mean anything for your business. But basically, it's a good time to teach people about your product. It's a good time to teach people about your service. It, 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 it's a good time to make people understand the intention of, of behind what you're doing and to build greater connection behind uh, transactional. 100%. 100% agree. So I guess uh, you... You kind of like uh, have a good in-depth uh, control in uh, what's going on and what should be done. And I see it's like you you are proposing some very proactive measures uh, currently now. And it's it's a good point because I guess uh, as a leader to of this group, well, you're able to uh, to really uh, tell people, uh, really to, to, to educate people in the best way possible on uh, taking care of yeah. this, especially if yeah, it's like we we even we even take it an extra step uh, extra uh, taking a strict step uh, towards that we not only tell people what to do but if ever they really they are willing to do it we come we we join them in the process let's say if someone wants to have a website at the moment and we can definitely uh put a website for them uh, together let's say in a matter of uh, a week 
uh, if they already have all the information ready. And uh, and and if someone wants to, let's say I, I was talking about the tutorial, we can definitely guide them through like how they can make the video, what the, which software is the best to use, uh, for what they intended to do, and uh, and put a put a contact out there. And the only the only, the the bigger challenge usually I see with the uh, with entrepreneurs in the community there is a there is a huge emphasis on uh, on planning. So we have a tendency to 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 plan to plan things uh, too much <laughs> instead of uh, put uh, put it ourselves out there. That's if I see some some time for uh, content that doesn't matter. Um, the entrepreneur doesn't care to put ourselves out there, but when something is matter for the business, they have a they, they have a tendency to spend too much time thinking about it instead of doing it, and uh, we this is where we come in the process to be able to help that uh, to help those entrepreneur uh, get ourselves out there as soon as possible. You know. Yeah, exactly. And this is uh, I actually have an anecdote with that going on, but really the way that I suggest people to go to undergo these uh, these process, let's say, of creating content and putting themselves out there is. Uh, we can call it the lean marketing. So yeah. basically, it's just uh, look. Don't worry to don't focus on having something perfect. Focus on putting something out there and then improve it as uh, as we go. So that way, at least you're getting better at it. You already made the leap of faith. But there, as you getting better at doing it, well, hey, uh, people are seeing you. Some people are paying attention. Other people not really. But uh, your content is just going to get better and. I've been doing this with myself do, too when ever since this happened. First of all, like uh, I've been, I think we all got hit by uh, this situation. Or one oh, yeah, or for another. sure. <laughs> Nobody, like rarely anyone. For sure. Like, even, even if you're in the medical. Uh, except, except Zoom. <laughs> except Zoom, <laughs> yeah. Zoom. Well, Zoom, you see, uh, we could talk about Zoom because Zoom has been getting like uh, their own little issue, like security. Uh, yeah, but then they haven't bombing. proved it, you know. Like yeah, exactly. wait before we start that, we start the call right now. Like uh, they, 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 they require me to upload the uh, the new version that uh, with the security features that I have fixed. And uh, and now I think with someone taking a screenshot, nobody will see your meeting ID and you have access yeah. to your room whenever they want to. And uh, I think uh, this is a good improvement that they have made, but. Nonetheless, uh, um, the uh, their daily active user as I record, uh, like uh, I don't know, like they went to um, 10, 10, act, 10 million active user to two hundred million active user, something like that. Yeah, and, it makes sense. It makes total sense. Those yeah, and like uh, yeah, like what I've been doing for myself is that ever since this happened, I decided that, you know what, uh, one of the biggest projects that I've been postponing a lot because of the same reason as everyone, we lack of time. Uh, mm -hmm. I've just been doing uh, content and I've been doing live, doing posting videos, like GTV and things like that. And now with you, uh, this experience is going to allow me to maybe start doing the, the YouTube and target uh, the Facebook at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, following my own advice, don't think too much, just do it and then update it. I've been doing, uh, my numbers been increasing, my engagement, things like that, viewership and people are getting aware of what I'm doing and where I'm going with this. And yeah. some people have been inspiring and you know what, you're doing it, well, let me do it. And this is the same advice, once again, is if I tell people to do this, I can only be my best example to show you how I did it because like, I see yeah, 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 the sure. video and I add a few things. Uh, every, every new episode that I do, there's always something new better. Like now I'm doing yeah. more editing. That, that so you're doing more editing? Exactly. So which software are you using right now? Ah, uh, basic stuff, iMovie. But you see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're saying that. I'm glad you're saying that. You know, like most, of the, time, <laughs> most but, of the time people think they need an expert to put something out there. And uh, and uh, and you don't. And uh, let's say one thing, let's say we were talking about building a website at the moment. And if ever, uh, one thing I want people to understand, let's say, we were talking about Shopify and there is Wix, there is a Squarespace and those platform, you can use it, use them without even going to a developer to do that for you. And usually when it, I, I, I still think like whenever you, you go in a community, you say website, people are like, okay, where could I find a developer? You know, like most of websites you 
can build web page you can build right now you don't need a developer unless you really need to do something very 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 specific and which i doubt it <laughs> which i doubt for a restaurant or for a beauty or salon or i don't know um someone that wants to sell it that has a that's a that has a retail store and everything but uh yeah it's, it's sometimes that be, people have access to basic tools that they can definitely start and um, expose themselves to the customer instead of instead of trying to find an expert, some kind of developer to help them out, you know. And uh, and, and I think people should take about this those first steps uh, more and more than uh, trying to. Uh, um, to want to try to find an expert to end them out, you know. Let's say in your case, someone can can start learning about marketing with your video and 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 don't stop themselves. And when they get enough data, they can call you and say, you know what, uh, follow with what you have told me. Um, this is what I tested. This is what I think. This is what I think that on my customer, and I I need you to scale that for me. Yeah. So now, what that does for you, uh, what that does for the custom, uh, for the entrepreneur itself, is just that uh, now you, you you start to know more about who you need to target, who is your customer, and you can definitely um, you can definitely understand okay how people are using your product. And for you, like when the entrepreneur knows that, when the entrepreneur comes to you as a, a marketing agency. You definitely you know who exactly you need to target. You don't need to spend much time into the doing research. You can definitely go straight to ad spend and all those things. All those things that are that comes with it. You know, it, it, I think the process become more is uh, become more easy or become easier to uh, yeah, for sure. you at at the end. Yeah, for sure. And like uh, even simply as launching something uh, last week, I last week. It was a very fun week, I guess, for, for business for me because I mm-hmm. managed to get like five leads out of it. One of them uh, is going forward what I have going on. And even though, once again, like uh, they're tight on budget, they're, um, they know that uh, uh, the, the situation going on is preventing them from maybe going the extra step. But you know what they said that right now we want to be out there. We want to take advantage of this situation, maybe see what we can do. And I told them, I gave them a strategy from A to Z. Mm -hmm. We'll begin by doing this more promoting a video they have going on. And then we'll do more, let's say a funnel type on Facebook. And the month after we're just going to release the Google ads little by little. And we're just going to work on the message refining also really your sl- your slogan and things like that and that way mm-hmm. once this is over well we would have gathered up maybe a chunky list of let's say uh of potential leads uh, mm-hmm. that we'll be able to retarget once when, when the, the the costs are going to increase again well us we're not going to be looking for new people we would have already uh brought in people that engage with us during the two months of confinement or whatever and mm-hmm. all you have to do is just retarget those people so this way uh you target people that already know you that took the time to see your message to engage with you like comment mm-hmm. share and uh <clears throat> and now you focus on that funnel it down make some money out of it and then some of the gains reinvest it again into a new advertisement say for uh for the new season mm-hmm. things like that so it's just a yeah. good deal but it's just like right now, build up on your data. It's like, uh, and these yeah, yeah. <laughs> now people have three months. Yeah, <laughs> people yeah. have three months where they can build their audience for free. <laughs> exactly. On <laughs> whatever channel, and and uh, once once the once that three month pass, they can start uh, monetizing monetizing that audience. And uh, and uh, if someone want to build an audience, so the 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 first things they need to think about is creating content, and it's not about creating content just to create content. It's a matter also to to create the content for people to understand more uh, uh, more uh, more about what you do. Let's say uh, I, I remember I was talking to to an entrepreneur once. He told me the best customer is the customer that you you already educate about your your product. Sure. Once you educate sure. a customer about your product, you can sell that customer anything. You know, exactly. because he already yeah, understood the basics. So, and and even even for me, it happened. If I, it happened uh, with me sometimes, you know, if I'm using a platform for for the chamber of commerce, uh, and and somehow that platform say, okay, here's the new feature that's gonna cost you five, ten dollar extra. I'm gonna get it because I'm already understand why uh, why is what is good for me without. For, 
without the company to invest a lot into telling me what it is. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, and, 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 and I think like the more people spend into educating someone about what they're doing, the, the, the better chance that they will be able to create a lasting revenue with that customer. Exactly. The, man. 100%. 100%. Uh, that's exactly the plan that I've been given out. And uh, like right now, I have a few clients. I actually have some clients that even didn't even lower their budget. Like still the same. And like I still see business coming in. Even mm -hmm. through the situation, still things still working out. So uh, you, yeah. only, you only know this if you put yourself out there. <clears throat> Even in the beginning of this campaign, I ran my own personal campaign because I wanted to let's say target a particular type of business, mm -hmm. restaurants. Uh, I told because I saw the the, the the cost go down. Like oh shit, like uh, cost went down ninety percent. So maybe I should run my own campaign and maybe see if I can target some type of. Uh, the survival business are still the essential ones, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you know what? To my surprise, the costs were even higher. Only because it was such an essential a business that I didn't evaluate that one then. So uh, I launched it. Didn't work. I stopped it. But at least I gained that knowledge. And now I know people like you know what? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, but I can that's that the, you what you all. said is uh, what you say is just. Uh, um, The, the thing you, you you test it and didn't work and shut it down and and learn from it and I think this is something like we uh, I I saw like uh, I'm not saying that the, I saw a lot of people are afraid of doing uh, that is it's the matter to expose an idea to be able to kill it later and uh, let's say let's say probably someone probably you were thinking like okay should I Probably, what was your idea in the beginning, like when you started uh, the app? So the idea behind it was I created this landing page, uh, and considering restaurants were uh, were main, one of the essential uh, businesses that still remain uh, the doors open, and I figured like the next thing that uh, the government advises them to do is to do takeout and delivery, and right now like the the platform, the delivery pla platform are booming. Uh, Skip the dish, Uber Eat, DoorDash. Foodora, and yeah. just to name a, a few. And my idea was like, you know what? Let me help these restaurants that didn't shift quick enough to these uh, delivery platform. Let me create the, uh, put them in, into these platforms so they can get that visibility, uh, put in the right, let's say, SEO in behind it. And mm -hmm. from there, advertise on, let's say, their Facebook that, you know, we are not doing, let's say, uh, Uber Eat, uh, call us. And these are many things like that. So that was the idea. Just to, to, to implement, let's say, uh, to these uh, to these restaurants, the whole, let's say, delivery system and the advertisement connected to it. Yeah, but now, now like, uh, do when you you say like when you did the ads, it didn't work that much. <laughs> I was getting likes, comments. I was getting like good engagement, but I wasn't getting any particular lead. And maybe someone that asked me uh, how to do it, but that's it. I, I can't say that I got any business out of it. And mm -hmm. after a while, I said, you know what? It's because uh, once again, I have one of my uh, one of my accounts is medical account. Our, our cost per click was like average one dollar fifty, and now we're mm -hmm. running ads because we are essential. Our cost per click went down to eleven cents. So mm -hmm. I had that same idea for this restaurant. So, uh, but instead, that's not what happened. The cost per click for my restaurants were a dollar twenty-five, but then. There was a bunch of other mechanic reason why maybe our cost was higher that maybe mm -hmm. uh, I won't get into because it's very technical. Yeah. We could save for another video. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, like uh, uh, I ran it three days and after three days, you know, I was like, nah, I'm just, I'm just burning money right now for nothing. <laughs> I ain't getting no results. So let me stop that. But uh, I learned that. And once again, it's based on what you do and uh, how you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, yeah. So basically, basically, what, what is interesting? What I was saying that was interesting. What you did is just that uh, you had an idea and you expose yourself, and you be you be able to validate if if it is necessary to do or not. And most of the time, people don't uh, don't put themselves in that process. The other things you probably we have done and we would not we will not be a good idea. Was that for you to to start um, planning a lot of a lot of process around it? <laughs> And uh, building a lot of process, 
without even test it out to see if everybody have any good intention. And once you and and once you launch it, you realize that it's totally too late. So you have probably invest. You will probably invest more to fig to figure out that this will never work. Instead of um, with what you have done, you just probably take one or two or three hours and you you figure out okay, nobody has any interest in that after three days. So so let me focus on something else. And I think people should never be afraid to do that with their ideas. And let's say I can probably thinking about um, I don't know uh, what uh, ideas I can be. <laughs> Maybe I can probably start a business selling uh, pure air to people. <laughs> and uh, and the bis- this business exists, okay? <laughs> this air business exists. I got to say this is this is a legitimate business. <laughs> it is. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, so so um for some reason I think okay, at this moment people would be very interested in buying like uh uh pure air. Uh, because of covid and uh and instead of me putting all the process for people to get the a bottle of pure air at the at 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 their home i say you know what let me put up let me put up an ad to see how people are reacting about us so and with the ad after two three days i'll probably know like okay, people are more interested in masks than uh, a pure a pure air bottle to be able to breathe for pure air you know and uh, that will avoid me to put all the logistic process in place and and trying to push it later through marketing exactly. and lose a lot of money. And like one thing too is like maybe another reason why uh, someone, uh, a business owner is afraid to do these type of tests because they don't know how, what's uh, how to test out. And I think there's a education uh, step to, to, to undertake in order to understand. My test lasted three days. Um, mm-hmm. It took me five hours approximately to set up. Well, a bit more, I'm lying. Seven hours. <laughs> and I created a landing page. I had a color. I had to set up a Facebook too and related to it. Um, mm-hmm. I, I created, designed my ad and everything. And uh, that's about it. So it took, I started from scratch, but you know what? I started uh, maybe with 10, 10, 10 a.m., finished everything like at 4 p.m. And after yeah. I launched it, uh, the time that it got approved, it started maybe uh, two days after. And within, let's say, a test, people need to know that a test, uh, a lot of questions that I get, let's say, for people that don't know this, how long should we test it out? Is it maybe a day, two days, a week, a month? And mm-hmm. straightforward, like, look, uh, between three to five days, after three to five days, you don't see no results. Uh, you go to the next step to optimizing what you have. But in this case, I didn't want to optimize. I was like, you know what? Uh, it's not working out. Uh, from yeah, yeah, reason. you can already know. You know? Yeah, <laughs> you, my you can, you can, you can you know. see if some if, if people but. are interested or not. And if you see people are interested, but that people are not converting, yes, you will go into optimization to see. Okay, what can I do for people to for people to convert into customers? But if people are not showing any interest, let's say uh, interest can be like someone giving you out, giving you out their email address or or. People like uh, uh, send you out an email. Uh, people schedule a call for you, with you, like a thirty-minute yeah. consultation for free. I don't know. And yeah, this is something agency can do now. Let's say if someone you are not doing free consultation, this is something you can definitely yeah, do the at the moment. <laughs> Take a thirty-minute, one-hour schedule call with someone and give them your advice, or even do a video. And uh, that would be so. When when times comes, that person. There is a high probability that person will become a customer in in, in the future. If ever you don't want to do it, you can definitely read uh, write a blog post about any advice you want to give someone, and and do like one minute video about it, and, and then share it on media and put yourself available for more questions by email. You know, this is this is something that people can do definitely. Well, yeah, and like like myself, one thing I've been doing a lot uh, that that been bringing me some success to myself. Uh, like I said, last week, I generated five leads to my personal business. Mm-hmm. I sent out a quote. Uh, one of them got closed, uh, and two of them will get back to me maybe uh, in a week uh, week from now. Uh, mm-hmm. I think there's another one that's just maybe got just lost yeah, yeah. Into, <laughs> into my funnel. But the idea is that a lot of these leads were created only because I took uh, the initiative to post every day something that's marketing-related, uh, that's mm-hmm. valuable in terms of content into my Facebook and people comment and more people comment more um, the higher the reach I get into the newsfeed of other people on my network 
so up to one point that I have uh, one post that was like one uh, a question, simple question. It mm -hmm. ended up getting 70 comments and a bunch of uh, likes on it. So already there, this is, I, I even had people still con commenting this post three days after, which mm -hmm. means that Facebook classified it as very relevant because there was a lot of engagement to it. And from there, that's one of the leads that came that I got. Uh, the mm -hmm. week after, he was like, hey, I just saw you had, a, I saw your post about this and I want to talk about it. Uh, what should we do? That's it. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And, uh, and, uh, but as I say, that comes to putting great content out there, you know, if, uh, um, for me, uh, sometimes, uh, because I think what happens also is there is a, it, it becomes very difficult for the entrepreneur to separate themselves from their business, <laughs> in a sense, let's say. Um, what could happen is, let's say, if ever, uh, if ever I start, I, I I start a business, and I'm always the in the front of it. The fact I'm, I'm always in the front of it, I have to be careful of what I post personally. Yeah. Like if I'm never the front of that business, I can post whatever I want personally. But if I'm always in the front of that business, what I do, what I do, per, what I post personally matters. <laughs> To what I do, to to, to uh, matters to the business, you know. Let's say if let's say if I decide to you, um, what 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 can I what can I talk about? Let's say um, uh, to um, let's say to to my idea like air bottle, you know. <laughs> Come back to my idea of air bottle. Let's say if I'm always in front of it talking about air uh, air bottle on my business page, and now people. It saw me talking about food on my personal page that created a huge confusion. Yeah, the people were like, okay, so basically, what this guy is doing, <laughs> and I, and I think and I think sometimes they say if people need to to be to be careful with that because I see I see many times I see someone is uh, someone uh, are, are telling people they are an expert in this on their business platform and and uh, and you're going to their personal page and they do. It, anything that doesn't make sense and you'll like start thinking okay actually is that person legit as a business <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a business sure. person even if that person has no intention of uh, um has no intention of affecting their business with their personal posts but definitely matters let's say let's say for me um since now um, i'm always in the front of the uh chamber of commerce like jcch I don't, I don't, I don't post anything uh, that I don't post anything just like that pers on my personal Facebook page yeah, just yeah. for the fun of it because I know since people already know um, I'm always in the front of that uh, of that organization. I know whatever I post that doesn't relate to that uh, organization uh, will affect the organization in some kind of way. 100%. So um, it, it's not that I, I don't see put I don't see things that is funny for me to share, but it just that. Uh, it just uh, to to think you about okay if I sharing this yeah. what people would get about the organization that that was not my intention for them to uh, to 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 understand about an organization I don't want to create any confusion about what we do since I'm always in the front of the organization if I were not in the front organization I could have posted whatever I want because um, the the brand of my organization is not linked to me and so and and, and sometimes um, that can be a, a difficult. Uh, uh, a difficult thing to do and people should yeah, think about this more and more and more well, yeah you know? and i can even um add something to it uh, on my personal uh so in terms of facebook let's say i have two facebook a personal facebook family friends mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. whatever and i have a business facebook which is yeah. like the same me but uh that's only going to talk about strictly about marketing and that's mm -hmm. it and I had made a, a video once uh, from a photo shoot, a silly video. I just started singing something. And I posted yeah. it because it was funny. It was fun. It was entertaining. And it, it got, a lot of, um, got a lot of engagement. But one thing that made me uh, laugh, and it made me realize, too, that maybe I had uh, succeeded at something. Uh, at the message that I wanted to push towards my business Facebook is that this guy wrote, he was like, 
I, I press play on your video expecting some marketing advice and I hear you sing. <laughs> so the guy yeah. definitely didn't expect that. But you know what? Yeah, that's it. It made me realize that, you know, because when I created this business, uh, Facebook, my mm -hmm. goal was that to make sure that, like I mentioned at the beginning uh, earlier in this uh, call, that you need to plant a seed in people's mind that yeah. you're going to uh, assimilate this keyword with you. And yeah. I had succeeded at planting the seed that when people see my name pop up in the news feed, they relate automatically to marketing. Yeah. And there, he didn't see marketing, so he was like, oh, what's going on? This guy is singing. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, but you probably take your business's clothes. You're going to. <laughs> so, you see, so it, it was fun for me to see this uh, this result because I was like, all right. So yeah, yeah. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> now people understand what I do for a living. I don't need to explain it to them. This guy probably is okay. Marketing is not working for you now. You start singing to try to make money out of it, you know? <laughs> but the, but this is basically what I was talking about, you know? Like, even if we're not even thinking about this guy to write you later to say, uh, to, to, to comment about it. And the guy later told you, I was thinking, I thought that was going to be marketing related. And now I see you singing for no reason, you know, yeah. is everything okay? You know, should I be worried about my marketing budget? And that's, that's, that's what I'm saying that like people should think about it twice. You know, it's not everything you, it's not the fact that you say, okay, I'm going to put that on my personal Facebook. That doesn't mean that you won't affect your business. Right. And people, and people sometimes they spend time watching your personals instead of going to your Facebook page, actually follow you more on your personal Facebook account to, to learn things from you. And, yeah, and, and now you, and, and now it's like somehow without even, without even you knowing, without even, without even uh, without having the intention uh, initially, you like discreeting yourself. And uh, this is something I think people should definitely, um, Think about if ever they're starting a business with their personal Facebook page or a personal Instagram, and and uh, you need. To, I think uh, everything needs to be in sync, and um, I think this part is easier for people that are artists. They are comedian in a sense because if ever on their Facebook page they are telling jokes on their personal page, they cannot turn jokes either way. So that does affect much. But if someone is, uh, let's say, someone that has a, a is a lawyer in a business and uh, in a personal page uh, they they're not talking about something related to 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 the law that can affect in this in some kind of way and i think at the moment since everybody is on it's online <laughs> so i think uh, some people have to streamline that whatever they post on their personal page match whatever they're doing on their, on their uh, business page, on their social media, either Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, and whatever. Yeah. Those, I think those two need to be in sync at this time, specifically at this time. Uh, um, because before it was, I think people could probably get by with it, but now I think people should pay much more attention, more attention about that. Well, like, uh, when I when I coach or consult with uh, business owners, uh, one of the main uh, when it comes to the discussion to social media, what should I, what kind of content should I create? Um, the main thing that I always that I always mention to them and I recommend them is like identify <laughs> at least three to five pillars of communication that you're going to have. These mm -hmm. these pillars are going to be everything you're going to be posting onto your social media, and don't go out of those pillars. Yeah, sure, sure. People yeah, that's of, a good uh, thing. Really, what you're doing. So, let's say if I take my uh, my Instagram, my Instagram, uh, the pillars that I gave it was first going to be obviously marketing, but then uh, it's going to be exercising, uh, working out, entrepreneurship, yeah. and being let's say following uh, let's say your uh, your ambition, so the lifestyle yeah. and the motivation. So, those are my four pillars of uh, my Instagram, for example, and I don't. I don't deviate from those uh, communication. Everything is yeah. related to that, and that's it. So I don't. Yeah, you should. Any, you should. You should not, not do. You know. I don't share no family stuff, no this, no that. Like boom, yeah. it stays like that, and that's it. So because when people are going to click from on my icon, it's going to talk about one of these things, and if I'm clicking on yeah. this because I already know it's going to be about that. And yeah, yeah, I, 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 I totally agree, and uh, someone should focus on that uh, more and more. I was saying before uh, about, uh, but what they're going to post about, and uh, and one thing I can say too, um, um, 
one thing is uh, nowadays like a lot of people are doing live <laughs> and uh, I think I think people that have business should be very strategic about this and um, and uh, because yeah, because it's a matter of why you're doing it and uh, I think I one one guy I know that I one guy I see that was, that played very smart was uh, is a Asian guy called uh, Karel and um, so during this time this the guy's already used to have a the guy have a radio show okay mm -hmm. and during this time the, the guy is trying to bring back old old school old school compa music so old band that that were destroyed they kind of he kind of reach out to the artists and put it back together and uh, to like a, a live event let's say at night mm -hmm. uh, what what was interesting about it is what what I find interesting is does that not only like he He, this happening, but he kind of put the link. <laughs> of, uh, he kind of pinned a post with his with his information if someone wants to donate money. Oh, yeah. Nice. And 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 this, I find it very smart because I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. You having fun? There's, there were a lot of work uh, behind it, and if you can show your support, show your support, and someone can definitely show your support that way. You can send the money by email or whatever, and any, any, any app that either that it, any information that he put out there for you to send the money to him. And I think less people are not doing, not enough people are not doing that, and uh, and to test, let's say, if ever they bring in something, uh, uh, some, something of value, people that are doing tutorial on Instagram Live. Uh, I don't. I don't think a tutorial on Instagram Live is a good way, but uh, uh, people can say otherwise. But I think you should. People should try to transfer that to YouTube later, because uh, let's point. say if ever, if ever, if ever I, I was not part of your live, <laughs> IG, IG live. Maybe later I want to. Uh, I want to find out something, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you have so. Put it in YouTube, make your content more discoverable, and this can bring you a customer later that you that you don't even know that exists, so, and that not even in your fan fan base on 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 YouTube, on not on YouTube, on Facebook or Instagram. And I think uh, people should put that in mind mind more. Let's say I think uh, if ever I'm doing a tutorial video, I definitely. Uh, Even if I started in a live, I, I, I definitely go see how I can uh, transfer that to YouTube later to make it available for future customer. And uh, one thing about creating those content is say someone is calling you in the future after COVID and want to know about something. You do, that that avoid you to schedule a call to explain to that person. You can definitely send that video to that person for that person to learn about that's your. A, that's uh, a great point. To learn about it. Uh, yeah. So so that was, that's one of the things I, I think. Uh, Uh, people should think about uh, during this time when it comes to create live videos. So if ever they can put a link for people to donate money, uh, that way they can validate if whatever they're doing is bringing value to people. Uh, they can definitely create a. I saw I saw a girl that create a let's say some kind of uh, ebook for people to uh, about best product for makeup, whatever. To, and just, She was saying that she got many downloads. That's a good. That's a. That's mean that she probably have 300 uh, leads, mm -hmm. and that can that she can convert and uh, convert and customer later. Or if someone doesn't doesn't have those things in their in their life, so they can definitely transfer that information to 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 YouTube and put a way for someone to contact them later. And uh, let's say after 48 hours, because I think a live is only available 48 hours. I don't know. You, you can probably tell me more. You can probably tell me more about this, but I think that people should. In one way, someone can. People like whenever they create content, they should have a way. Basically, what I what I wanted to say that if it, if people are creating content, they should have a way to validate if the if the content brings value to people. One way you can do that is by collecting people at email address or put a link for people to donate money to you. If people are don't are giving you money. That's mean you bring in value because that person say okay, um, I just read this. This was so valuable. Uh, let me see. If, let, let me support that person. You know, I I, I just watched this live. That is so. I, I learned so much. And uh, let me let me let me give out some money to that person, or let me give my email address. So whenever that person is publishing something in the future, I'm gonna be the first to know about it. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. Amazing points, amazing points. Uh, I like that. I like the, the, the um, what you mentioned about the uh, donation. Um, 
especially like right now i'm seeing let's say a bunch of uh doing people doing yoga or even djs like uh let's say yeah, DJs, yeah 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 let's say djs for example yeah. right now like uh, if they were mixing let's say in clubs and uh, bars and things like that like it's not working out but at least some of them are turning to social media and i've noticed this guy that uh some filipino i think and he had a very nice set because his set uh from the camera looked like um like a, a asian street stand a food stand mm-hmm. mix and so yeah let's say the the the, the metal roof with the mm-hmm. signs all over and that was a nice nice little decor so just mixing and every time i kept opening instagram boom he's there he's there so this is someone that i guess should benefit from you know what hey uh uh, I'm not working right now. Like I lost all my yeah because yeah I'm yeah yeah yeah. Around, and also no there is um, um just to just to prove my point about what you're saying is as in China they they have a they have an app like this and uh, um, it, it, it's 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 part of the Tencent group. So basically, people can uh, people can artists can go there and sing, and if people like what they sing, and people can donate. Uh, let's say uh, give them let's say can give give out money and the, the app will take 30% as they usually do and 70% for the uh, certain percent of what the person donate to the artist and uh, it's not as it's not something is i was saying though i don't want people to take out just bring a bring new idea to the table <laughs> it's just that uh, um, it's just I don't even think how uh, people have to think about a way that okay um Actually, you're working. You know, we all working. You no, know, working. and um, and uh, the best way to know if whatever you're doing is has any value for anyone is to um, is to see. Okay, are people willing to pay you to pay you for that, or are you people uh, are people willing to stay in touch with you to get to know uh, to uh, to get uh, to to get to know more to get to know more about what you do? If people are not willing to do that, I think. Uh, I think uh, you should reconsider what you do about. Uh, you should you should reconsider. Hey, you're doing tests right now. At this point, if you're not getting those donations, well, hey, change your message. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. 10% you know, of uh, <laughs> what I'm getting to maybe uh, to somewhere in the crisis. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, and sure. This could and be uh, a act and, of um, good faith too. Like uh, as many things that uh, people's creativity uh, during this period has just went to the roof. I see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff, yeah. Like, yeah, and uh, and 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 I know, like we we everybody is uh, is 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 looking at that don't rot challenge that never changed. <laughs> has a don't rot challenge going on, and I don't think I don't think like being creative means to create another don't rot challenge, but it can be it exactly. can be many other things. All right? Yeah, do something like uh, creative, and lastly. I think that pe- what people should be doing, even connecting uh, with more people like uh, like we're doing right now. And I find that uh, we've been doing this for like, it's been 50 minutes that I've been recording this. And uh, mm-hmm. you know what? We There's so many things we just exchanged that's very, uh, very valuable. And I find that, you know what? This could be really interesting for other people to, uh, to consult. So I've been connecting with a bunch of people. Uh, when's the last time I saw you? It was like months ago. I think it was last summer. Uh, yeah, like uh, oh, man, Borg. yeah, yeah, yeah. A while ago, yeah. but you see, like I felt it was good. I thought about you. It was like I, I, I had a T-shirt like that, and I saw like you said, yeah. <laughs> this guy knows something. So let me connect with him. And that's the thing I think is like when uh, in and in, in a better position to even should connect with other people. Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, but they 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 should. I don't know. I know. Doctors suggest us to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the more we can, let's say, to avoid any mental issue later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And uh, I, and I think uh, it's 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 a it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. But uh, thank you, thank you for reaching out. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure. And like uh, you know, it's a hunch that I had. I wrote to you. I saw you. I was like, let me write to this guy right now. And look at that. <laughs> like uh, we scheduled. Now uh, we're having an exchange. Uh, the exchange is very. Uh, very relevant and pertinent in every point that we're mentioning and i think that you uh, control to your information uh, you know what you're saying and a lot of things that you just mentioned i agree with 100 percent and along with uh, what can be done next from this so um so you mm-hmm. like uh let's say what are some of the plans that you will you want to take 
let's say, what are you going to do after this? Well, well, I don't know. I, yeah, let me see. I don't <laughs> okay, there is, there is. Two, okay, the first thing I will can I can talk about the, the, something that we do, we, we we did, and we already in uh, two weeks into testing that, and it uh, it's, it's doing is doing well, and we think we we are thinking. Uh, We were thinking about other things that we can implement into it, like to uh, to make it better. So uh, basically, we have lunch. Uh, let's say an online coffee shop, <laughs> online coffee shop. Let's say uh, which is basically a, a, a video call in, in a sense. But people, it, it, so we just open for between um, every Tuesday and Thursday, between 6 p.m. and 8. PM people just walk in and leave whenever they want to, and uh, when they, when the walking people start talking to each other, exchange, talk about their business ideas, and and there is there is not one person leading in a sense, uh, like but it's it just like a it's, it's, it was very nice to see um, many people exchanging their business idea without me to intervene in a sense. Yeah. And to say, okay, this is what I think. This is what I think is good. This is, you should listen to me. It basically like people would say, okay, this is what I think. This is what I think. And and the ideas were going back and forth. And uh, this this we have this uh, two twice a week. It's going. It's going like uh, it, uh, it's very nice to see people exchanging that way. And uh, a lot of ideas uh, are popping up. And we, um, uh, after after each session, I, I reach out to the people that are participating. They are giving me great feedback. And we are thinking, okay, uh, now we're thinking of how we can uh, how we can bring uh, more advice to people. People are suggesting maybe uh, for one hour we can have an expert. Let's say probably you come in and talk about marketing during this time. What people can do and. Uh, And that's what some people suggested, and we are looking into that to see what, how we can uh, how we can bring that in the mix of the online coffee shop that we the online coffee shop that we that that we launch, and also that there is other ideas we're thinking of. Uh, one thing with uh, one thing we do also during this time is say if ever someone wants to make the switch to online, we can definitely help them out that way. We can definitely talk about okay which tool they can use. Uh, uh, their self, uh, they, how they can be very independent in the process, um, and also the the last thing, the last thing we're taking about at the moment, but we uh, we have not launched it yet. So we've been looking at what the, all the funds that uh, the government would be, are making available for people, but it's very hard, they're not really touching people that have just started their business, yeah, let's no. say for the past six months. And um, and uh, even for the past twelve months, and uh, and 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 we we are thinking, okay, what 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 can we do? Let's say, uh, uh, what can we do to help people um, to bring money to people to be able for them to launch their business or keep their business going? Because since they launched their business recently, and uh, well, so maybe those money is to pay, uh, uh, let's say. To pay to 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 give them a hand after the 90 days trial that we were talking about, um, maybe to give for them to get an extra 90 days uh, yeah. if free from the community. Um, so we we're thinking about that to see how we can uh, how we can launch it, how, uh, what we, needs to be done. But in a sense, again, it's a it's a matter of like okay, how we can bring the community to support one entrepreneur, uh, and uh, how we can uh, facilitate that process for them to get money. And uh, since we were talking about the money uh, the government is giving, and I think uh, one thing people are not thinking about as an entrepreneur, like even if the government is giving money, it's a matter of like where your profit, where where your business were profitable before. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This all this happened. So if you don't have any way to prove that you were a profitable business before COVID, that's it. forget about <laughs> getting money for your business. They, they don't. Uh, so and and also they're not expecting to save everyone from this. Uh, but our focus is just to say that okay, if someone has an idea for the, uh, was working on a business idea for the past three months, six months, or twelve months, and they they were into that validation process 
and uh, how we can help how we can help for them to to go into an, a different stage where they can actually scale their business during mm-hmm. that period of time and uh, and we and with that we're focusing more online and if ever we lo- we're launching something we definitely gonna it's, it's gonna go through an online process like the same way we did with the online coffee shop this is this is uh, this is what we what we're working on that's a uh, very creative I find it's an excellent idea I like the concept of uh, behind it Uh, yeah, yeah, and also, and also, with this happening, we're thinking like maybe we should go with more. Com- we, we, uh, we, may, maybe we should start working remote completely. <laughs> but this is what we're thinking, but we don't know if we're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I think this is a new uh, new behavior is going to happen uh, from companies that hey, we managed to be operational. Uh, productivity has been high. Uh, pollution has been low. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like maybe we don't need that ten thousand square feet. Uh, yeah, to that's, house, it. that's uh, it. That's it. That's it. On a daily basis, that's maybe it. we could reduce it down to five thousand and have, let's say, the main people over here maybe share offices. Yeah. Like people can work from home, or maybe like there's going to yeah. be like one thing for sure is going to happen after this is like uh it's going to be a precedent uh, amount of things that are just going to change uh, completely uh behavior habits or anything is going to to change and now we're figuring out that hey we know how to let's say uh <laughs> make things better more efficient um Yeah, yeah, is it and 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 I can tell you I've been I've been I've been checking all the tools online that are that are remote work and uh that are remote work uh, uh related and 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 you can see all the startup as a marketing strategy when you go on the website they have a, they have a specific tab named remote work <laughs> to get you to get you enroll into the platform and yeah so I've been I've been studying studying those platform closely to to see okay which one will be the best to use um, going forward and yeah and uh, also now our main focus uh, um, uh, one last thing I forgot to think about yeah, yeah, any yeah. and all the all, all the events that we were planning we we're planning to do for the year um, because of COVID we're gonna we're gonna Uh, switch that into your podcast so for people to, to still have access to the, to the content that was going to be shared at those event uh, conferences basically so yeah so people should like uh, people only just have to go on gcch.ca and they will have access to all those information or follow our instagram page and, and people to, to stay aware or they can definitely um leave out their email and whenever something is out, we definitely reach out to them by email. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, man. Damn. So much, so much. Uh, so I think that, um, the orientation of this exchange, the same thing to me, uh, I was, my next direction was podcast. This is like the beginning. This is like yeah. the root of where I want to take my podcast. And I think this is, uh, this, This exchange we just did is going to be excellent, and I'm going to put an emphasis into uh, a title, given uh, like uh, why content is king uh, during yeah. the COVID period, and what you should do. Here are a few steps. Okay. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah, and uh, once again, uh, uh, I would say content is king, and uh, not everything need an expert. People can start doing anything, everything their own, uh, on their own. The only thing they have to make sure to not uh, deviate for. To not talk about everything, anything at the same time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just trying to focus on one thing, and uh, and nowadays launching a business can be simply like you launch a, a landing page and a, and a blog post and uh, and start collecting email, and that's it. That's and it, that's man. why people have to understand and uh, and yeah, and use simple tools like iMovie that you you mentioned. Uh, Basically, earlier in the, in, I'm getting better. In, in, I'm getting yeah. good at it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And uh, but it, but if you we want after the video, I can send you any other tools like uh, that. That is the other tool that can be interesting into uh, video editing. Um, yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. Someone should think about this. <laughs> thanks, man. Mr. Uh, thanks again. Thanks again for calling me. So uh, definitely, we'll talk soon. Thanks for your time. Likewise, take care and we'll do this again. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Good, man. <laughs> Ciao.
Ah, ça doit être chaud. Ça. Hein? Ça fait un vidéo à respect. Ouais. Parce que le matériel, je suis là, il y a un petit peu de vie, 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 il y